So a debt collector calls you and they threaten you with wage garnishment if you don't pay them. Now, there's been no lawsuit, no judgment against you. They just make that threat. Is that legal? Is that proper? Hey, my name is John Watts. I'm a consumer protection lawyer. and We've been suing debt collectors for many, many years. And that is something that we saw more of maybe 15 years ago, where a debt collector calls you up, says, hey, I'm calling about this old credit card. And, you know, maybe you go, oh, yeah, I owe that. And they say, well, pay us now. And you go, I can't pay you now. They go, if you don't pay us now, I'm going to call your human resource department, your payroll department. We'll get your wages garnished right now. It's like, well, that's very scary because that's like 25% of my wages. And it, it worked. That's why they do it. Debt collectors don't do any of these illegal tactics for any reason other than it works. It gets you to pay them money. Okay. So it's also incredibly illegal under the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, the FDCPA. Now we're assuming that the FDCPA applies to your loan. There's a, a slight exception for federal type loans, so federal student loans, small business administration loans. But even there, they have to go through some type of administrative process where you're notified of your right to challenge this, okay? But put those aside. Credit cards, car loans, personal loans, title loans, payday loans, all that sort of stuff. If they threaten wage garnishment and they do not have a judgment against you, then that's a huge problem for them. So let me sort of illustrate it this way. They have to have a judgment to be able to garnish wages. If they say, I am going to garnish your wages. They better have a judgment when they make that statement. Well, to have a judgment, they we sort of back it up. They have to beat you in court. Now, they could do that through a default judgment or through a trial or whatever it is. Well, to get to that point, you have to be served. Well, to be served, there has to be a lawsuit filed. So the pattern is they file a lawsuit, they serve you, and then ultimately they win and then they're awarded a judgment, and then they can garnish your wages. Now, if a debt collector says, you know, if you won't pay us now, then we likely will sue you, and if we serve you and get a judgment, then we'll garnish you. Okay, that, that's a fair statement, assuming that they are willing to file suit. Okay, But when you just get this debt collector on the phone, particularly a place that does not even own the debt, does not even claim to own the debt. They're just a debt collector, just a collection agency. And they say, we're going to garnish your wages on Monday or Friday if you don't pay this. Then the, <laughs> there needs to be some money changing hands, but it needs to be you suing that debt collection agency and them paying you money. Okay, So there will be a transfer of money. It's just not the way that they had in mind. Okay, So if you are dealing with this, then definitely pay very careful attention to what's going on. What exactly did they say? And then you could do this on your own or get with a lawyer who does this type of work and have the lawyer look up, okay, is there a lawsuit against me? Have I been served? Is there a judgment against me? And if that's not true, but yet the debt collector threatened you with garnishment, then that may be a very good case that you have suing that debt collector. So. I encourage everybody, if you're dealing with abusive debt collectors, sue them. If you're dealing with abusive debt collectors, sue them. <laughs> if you sue a debt collector and they pay you money and then they turn around and do the same thing to you again, guess what you do? You sue them again. I take that that it's like a cry for help that they want to pay you money. So, hey, who am I to stand in the way of some company that is begging me, begging my clients to pay them money. Seems like the, the nice thing to do to take their money. So anyway, thanks for watching this video and I'll talk to you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.